everyone and welcome back to Nora's Cove. Today we're going to be doing our paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in for me and if that's something that you'd be interested in, stay tuned. Okay y'all, so this is last week, April 4th through the 10th and we're just going to do our quick review um, because I don't want to do it last. I like to do it early. Okay, so we estimated or projected in hair to make 750. We did 890 nails. We projected 60. We made 80. In Norris Co., we projected 50 and we did 3150. We projected our total would be 860 and we end up having $1,001.50. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something that went wrong, okay? You will say, okay, Yoshida, you did really good. You should have been able to pay your bills, which was a total of 486, plus put money to Barclays and Citibank and your savings and T Mobile and all that great stuff, right? Get your sister a card, okay? A gift card or something. And you should be able to pay extra on Walmart, right? Well, I don't know what happened. I'm telling you what I think happened. Let's just go down the list first. So we did give credit $150. We did Shopify ended up being $61.35. And I kept wondering why they didn't come out like on the third because the money was in the account. So this really wasn't supposed to be in there, actually. Um, we're going to go ahead and mark it out. But I did end up paying it, but the money was already in the account. <sighs> Y'all, I had $61 in there, okay? So sure I should cover it. I was missing 35 cents. So I happened to go over to Shopify and look. So they didn't cash it because it was 35 cents short. So I just went ahead and paid it. Put the 35 cents in there and paid it, okay? Okay, next up was Canva. Canva came out. Booth ran to 50. I did put 50. I put, well, here it is. $51.86 to Barclays. Um, I didn't do Citibank. Um, T-Mobile, I did give them 50. So what I like about um, T-Mobile, I was going to save the money, good thing, I just went ahead and sent it over, so that'll reduce my bill, so by the time the 21st come, I should have the other half, you know what I mean, so, didn't do savings, well, I did, I put $50, that's why you see a green and a red line through here, I put $50 to savings, but, at the end of the week, I had saved my tips for two weeks, and I'm like, yeah, I have cash stuffing money now, no, I don't, that was my card note money, which we'll get into, which is this week. So what I did was I took 200 out of my savings to put into my checking account to cover my card note. Now I'm like, okay, I could go back and just take all my money out the cash stuff and envelopes and put that because that was pretty much my card note money. Even my eating out food, all of that was my card note money. I kept saying I've been on point, what's going on? So now... My savings has declined, but what I think I'm going to do, if the week turns out really good, is just put it back into my savings. So, let's hop right into this week. Okay, so, whew, yeah, that's a lot. So, I was wondering, like, why do I have any money? Like, where is my money? Y'all, 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 y'all. Okay. So, this week... I'm going to use this gray here. And also, I kind of always forget, but you can find these inserts in my shop, um, www.norriscove.com. And what I like about this is minimalist for me. I like minimal stuff. But for those who need color, like my girl, Sherlyn, you can take markers and you can just highlight this whole strip here. You can just add color stickers, whatever you want to do to it to spruce it up. Okay, let's get into this week. This is April the 11th through the 17th. Hair, nails, and Norris Cole. And I haven't put miscellaneous in a while, but I'm going to put miscellaneous just in case. We're just going to do zero, but you know. Let's do our 750. And then I have to go out of town. I got to take my daughter's dog back. And my birthday's on the 23rd, so I think I'm going to take the dog back on the 24th and come back that maybe Tuesday. So I need to put some money aside for that. Nails. I don't project any nails this week because. I'm not really taking people, and the few that I did came last week, so that's why we made so much last week. I am doing new releases this week. 
you never can tell because people may not like your stuff. So I'm gonna stick with my 50 here on Lotus Cove, and that brings us to $800. All right, let's see what is due this week. I'm gonna flip to my calendar. And this is my monthly calendar. So we are on the 11th through the 17th. So already we have card notes here. We have, I did get a little small um, amount of money from Shop, Shop, Pay, Shopify, Capital One, and then Citibank. Okay. So first up will be card note. And they didn't take my card note out. This is card note number one. And I had it set up to come out, so I'm just going to have to go in and manually pay it. I think it's 181.63. And then the 15th, we have Capital One. I've already paid them for this month, but I'm going to go ahead and give them something else. I'm going to do 50. To continue to knock that down and then the 16th booth rent which is 250 and then the 17th is Citibank okay um Citibank I'm doing 50 now for my entrepreneurs let me zoom out just a little bit and for myself so as you can see i have barclays due here on monday i do work monday i can pay it um but i want to save money from this week to pay it because i'll schedule my bills so like i'll schedule citibank it's not going to come out until next week. I can schedule Barclays. So I here's what I can do. Um, this is how, like, knowing how your bills come out, knowing your budget, knowing what you get paid, or, like, here on Monday is when I have, like, a guarantee three people. I know these three people are coming unless they got COVID or sick, and we haven't had an issue in a couple months. So um, I can wait till Monday, and I can pay. I can go ahead and schedule this which is Citibank, but I know it's not coming out until probably Tuesday. I can do Barclays. It's not coming out till Wednesday. So I could take this money to cover those, but then we have T-Mobile coming. So why not, these being small, pay them, put the money aside this week for these two. We got car note number two coming out, you know? So we basically got to take part of this to pay for that. <laughs> Does it make sense? So. Um, yeah, so let's put some of our money for next week aside, and that kind of keeps us ahead on our bills. Oh, wow, I just happened to look, next week's my birthday. So, then we got birthday things. I'm not treating myself, but I got my T-Mobile, I have my car note, and then I have Barclays. So, I want to put the money for these two. I'm going to put Barclays on this week, and then hopefully part of my car note, so that way I can take part of this to cover my car note, you know, half of my car note, and then the rest of T-Mobile. That makes sense? Okay. I hope so. So that's the way how you can you just got to know what you're working with. And we know that generally during the week, I make about $750, 800 whatever. But things can always change. Like I work here Wednesday. I know I work on, I work, no, this Wednesday. I work this Wednesday. So that'll help cover this Capital One. I can actually go ahead and pay Citibank today. And that way it's coming out of my account by um, Thursday, but nonetheless, let's just do what we do. So let's go ahead and add Barclays. I'm gonna put them down as the 17th. And then we're gonna have, we have car note number one here. I think we'll be okay with car note number two on 18th, but we definitely want um, Barclays and we need to give them a hundred. And then T-Mobile. I'm moving T-Mobile here just for to have half of it. And I'm going to put them on the 17th as well. And I think we need about $160. And I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 100 to them. And then the rest will come up next week. I've already given them 50 
So, let's do a little math. Y'all, we are pushing it. $731.63. We pushing it, okay? We're pushing it. Now, this is where the good thing is. Let me come to my hand. I like this. Savings won't get any money. Seven hundred and thirty-one dollars. So here's where the good thing come in, especially for my entrepreneurs or anyone who's paying attention. Now, we know that Barclays is not going to come out this week. We know that Citibank isn't coming out this week. So that frees up that hundred and fifty dollars if we did not make eight hundred. Okay, so. If we didn't make it, we'd go on to the next week. But I don't want to do that. I really want to have this money set aside. So, in the notes here, this is what I need to remind myself to do. Eat out less. Plus, I'm supposed to be losing some weight. So, I'm supposed to be making smoothies every day. All that great stuff. So, to save some money, we're going to eat out less. Make our smoothies. Make lunch smoothies so that we can have this less miscellaneous spending spending that be my issue because when I go back and look at my spending tracker it's a lot of miscellaneous and it's a lot of food my two categories okay so spending and I just thought of something else that really kind of blows my budget. Oh, so no planner spend. I was doing good, but then when I got my taxes, I just went crazy. And then after that, I just thought I was rich or something that I could just keep on this buying stuff. Like I was about to buy a new planner, knowing good and well I didn't need it. Okay, so that's it, you guys. We're going to pop this back on in. Y'all was scratching my arm. Excuse the ashes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's go on. Pop it on in. And then next week, I'll have this week's review for you. But this is it. Plain and simple this week. No cash envelopes this week. Now, what I will do, I think I like the idea of saving my tips. So, I'm going to try to save my tips this week. See what we have. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm thinking cash envelope stuffing is not going to work for me. Only because I spent my car note money trying to stuff cash envelopes. And I think I do it because I know you guys like it. But I'm more of a digital cash envelope person. So I'm going to do digital cash envelopes. But I do like cash stuffing. So, um, yeah, I may do it every two weeks and not just every week. So that way, um, this is let me know where paycheck to paycheck is. So that way, I won't be in a bind or make sure that I have it or take away from and just not overdo it. You know, if that makes sense. Like, I just don't want to be stuffing money and then having to take it out. That makes no sense to me. So we're going to figure it out and we're going to figure it out together. So this is what we have for next week. This is the income we're anticipating. But as you all see, we kind of do more. So let's just hope for more. And I have a goal every week I set in my um, A6. I'm going to flip to my salon schedule. Every week, I set a $1,200 goal. Oh, I took out the rest of them. And then this is, you know, I make notes to myself of what I've done for the month. So when I go to do April, um, let me show you. When I go to do my end of April budget, I've already made a note of what the first and the second was. So in two days, I made like four fifteen. So, um, yeah. When I tell you money is in every planner, <laughs> every planner, you have to keep your eye on your money because if not, you will, you see what happened. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't refer. I need to start referring to this when I'm paying my bills and just come downstairs into my um, budget planner and see what I'm paying because I should not have not had my car note. Okay. So that's it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's um, Paycheck to Paycheck. 
If so, I hope you would consider subscribing, coming back for more, also hitting that notification bell for me. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment in the comments. Leave me a comment in the comments section. Let me know, have you done your paycheck to paycheck? Have you done your weekly check-in? Have you done your budget for this week? If so, what are your issues? Are, are you having any issues? Is everything going great? I would love to com um, comment back to you in the comment section and let's keep each other accountable. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.